And it's this jacket by Arstrix. Arstrix? I don't know how they call it. What's up everyone? I am Andre and welcome to our very first Gear 101 video. And today we're gonna be talking all about winter hiking gear, specifically what I like to use for winter hiking. And just a disclaimer before I start talking about uh, my winter hiking gear, is that I am not a professional. I've only been hiking for almost two years now. So, my knowledge and everything that I'm gonna share with you today is just uh, from two years of experience. But I think that what I have together and what Achila and Anthony have together, pretty good for where to start in your hiking journey. So let's get started. The first thing is actually the most recent thing that I got, and it's my very green Gregory Paragon 58. And let me tell you guys, I am in love with this bag. I've only used it in one hike when we went up to Mount Pierce and Mount Jackson, but just in that one hike, I really, really vibed with this bag. So I also recently purchased these two boots. Uh, they are from Columbia. Columbia is great, especially if you live near a outlet store. Super cheap. They always have some great deals. And this specifically, I bought it for winter hiking. It has Omni Heat technology inside, so it make, keeps your feet warm. And it's waterproof. It's super, super important for you to have waterproof boots for uh, winter hiking. If your boots are not waterproof, you're going to have a really hard time going out on winter hikes. And then for socks, I wear just one sock. These are um, wool socks. Very, very good. Very breathable. And then the other extremely important piece of equipment for winter hiking. I mean, I cannot stress this enough. And Achila and Anthony are gonna talk about this too, are uh, micro spikes. Do not, I repeat, do not go out winter hiking without these uh, micro spikes. The next thing are my uh, lower body stuff. First thing is I have these long johns, is that what you call them? Uh, long pants, long johns, under, I don't know, under armor, whatever. They are super breathable, polyester. I would stay away as much as possible from cotton stuff. Cotton is not very breathable. It really accumulates your sweat. And don't think that just because you're hiking in the winter that you're not gonna sweat. You are going to sweat a lot if you're like me. So make sure you have some breathable material and this is very stretchy, very breathable, super comfortable. And then, I have my soft shell or just regular pants. These are year-round pants from Columbia. They have this uh, sun blocking kind of technology so that in the during the summer you don't get sunburned or you, you don't overheat. And the best thing of all is that these are pants that turn into shorts. I've had them for probably two years. I've traveled all over the world with them and they're holding up really, really well and I probably paid $40 for them. The last piece of equipment or gear that I have for my lower body is my hard shell pants. Pretty much what these do is that they, they keep me nice and warm and dry when I'm hiking in uh, places of the trail that have higher levels of snow. And I actually bought these instead of buying gaiters. A lot of people like to have soft shell pants and then gaiters. I prefer to buy these because these keep me warm. I get really cold in my lower body. And here we have it again, the Omni Heat. All right, moving on to upper body. The first thing that I wear are these non-branded from Job Lot long sleeve shirts, black. Um, there's nothing to, to talk about them really. 
And then I wear these other polyester long sleeve uh, quarter zip. I haven't taken them off or taken this off at all. Um, and they're great, they're very breathable. And then my outer layer, and it's this jacket by Arstrix. Arstrix? I don't know how they call it, but they've been great. And the best thing is that this outer layer right here stops all kinds of winds. Like I don't feel any wind whatsoever on my body. And that's really important for your outer layer. Make sure that you buy a layer that really stops the wind because that can help you to keep you nice and warm. And the cool thing is that on the inside has a detachable fleece. So if I'm getting too warm, I'll just detach the fleece here and then I'll keep all my other base layers on with this outer shell and I'm ready to go. barely ever take this off is my balaclava, blaklava, whatever it is. It's awesome. Again, the Omni heat. This never comes off my head. And then I have my uh, wool fleece. I don't know what kind of material it is. This, this hat right here. I also have these Columbia uh, very lightweight gloves with, again, the Omni <laughs> technology in the inside. A second pair of gloves, these are heavier gloves, and then if it gets too cold or too windy, I'll put these on on top of the lighter Columbia gloves. All right, the last piece of gear that, this is a hot topic in our circle of friends, are these awesome, invaluable, never, ever, ever leave your house without them, hiking sticks. Make sure that you buy first aid kit. It has all the necessities. I would recommend buying a multi-day, multi-person. Keep them in your bag. With that, that's all I carry in my winter hikes. I'm still kind of figuring out the pros and cons of each piece of equipment that I have, each piece of gear that I bought, and I'm improving each single day. And I hope that this kind of helps you to figure out what you might need for, for winter hiking because winter is an incredible time for you to go outdoors. It's beautiful, serene, peaceful, and the views are just incredible. Incredible. So don't let the cold scare you off from enjoying the great outdoors. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at ec.hikers and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Comment down below what is the winter hiking gear that you use. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one.